If you are seriously ill, where do you turn? If your child comes unwell in the night, where do you go? Who looks after us when we're all ill? Who cares for our loved ones? Where are we all born? What other part of our society do we all connect with in the same way? Our NHS touches the lives of each and every one of us, our loved ones, our children, our families and our friends. The NHS is unparalleled, unique and amazing. There is nothing else like it and it saves countless lives each and every day. The NHS is available in our communities, free, mobile, for us where and when we need it. It's a true cradle to grave service which has improved the health of our nation like nothing else. Everyone in Britain gets healthcare, and not just the rich. But, and there is a big but, our NHS is dying. Since 2010, with the election of the Conservatives, the NHS has been fighting for its very survival. As the NHS has been squeezed and squeezed, patient satisfaction has fell year on year. Wait times are increasing, wards are frozen, and not enough staff are being trained. The crisis is entirely the Conservatives making as they put budgets to destroy the training schemes and services we also desperately need. The Conservatives tell us the NHS is unsustainable, and this is simply not true. This is part of the great lie of the modern age. Spending on health in England is due to fall back to pre-1995 levels by 2020. The UK spends less on health than most other G7 nations. We can't afford world-class healthcare under the NHS model. We are a relatively rich nation. The government has evaded its responsibility to deliver care. The government has starved the NHS in funding. The government has unrealistically increased the expectations of the public. The government has vilified staff and promoted private sector involvement. And the very same government is now setting our NHS up to say it's failed. The austerity programme proved what the Conservatives think of each and every one of us. None of us caused the financial meltdown, but they are hell-bent on making sure that each and every one of us pay for it. We live in a society where the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and more and more of us struggle to get by each day. And now we are facing a future where the sick will get sicker, the elderly will be neglected, and people will not be afforded to travel to their local hospitals to access comprehensive quality health care. We are told again and again that we cannot afford health and social care in this country, and that it's unsustainable. This is all our rubbish. Of course these things are unsustainable, but we are facing secret cuts on a staggering scale. The NHS budget is being cut real terms by over £20 billion a year. The Conservatives have created a perfect storm, a crisis in health and social care. They have chosen this path, they have set the cuts, and they have demanded the budget cuts. They have demonstrated their contempt for ordinary people and our health and well-being. Now, in a desperate attempt to cover the predicted vast black hole in NHS finances, the government have announced another new initiative for sustainability and transformation plans. Massive centralisation, service reconfiguration and £20 billion of cuts means that our local care is under real threat in England. Our NHS is in danger of being destroyed by a government whose political ideology has never ever supported it. There is no evidence base to support the STP programme, nor any political mandate for these plans, which do little more than hide a process which will deliver less care in fewer places and in less quality. Is this the future any of us want, based on lies and half-truths? A society that works for the wealthy, but not the majority. A society which would utterly fail. Unite believes that the NHS should be properly funded, free at the point of need, with comprehensive services delivered locally. This isn't a big ask. This is what we've always had for nearly 70 years in this country. We do not believe that any government has the right to sacrifice the health service and the future well-being of each and every one of us. In this campaign that we're all involved in, this is a fight for each and every one of us. This is a fight for the right to be able to access high quality and comprehensive local care, which is free for you and there when you need it most.
be for you and every single one of us. You must play your part or we'll be left with the basic health service, which will be no good for anybody. Now we are where before, we all need to come together to save what is perhaps the greatest socialist achievement of our modern age. We need you, our NHS needs you, and our society needs you. We are the campaigners, we are the fighters, we have future and top potential, and we are the people who will change our world. And as Nye Bevan said, who will fight to save our NHS? We will. We are the folk with the faith to fight for our NHS. We are the folk with the faith to fight to save our communities. We will fight for the right to have a world-class social health service. Join us, together we will fight. And once more, my friends, together we will win.